Okay. Is Cross okay? Yeah, he'll live. He beats me off in the gym all the time. It's nice to get one back a little. Kind of. Go out? Uh, no, but he uh, kind of was like, Phew. he, uh, I think, I don't really know. He just sat there. I was like, you okay? He's like, kind of left that a little too long. And uh, everything just started going black. I was like, oh, well, maybe not hold on too long next time. I don't know. I mean, you've been a part of some big fights with Invicta, but obviously, you know, now the UFC. What, what's the feeling right right, right now? Is, is, is it different? I mean, the, 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 the big stage, the big show, is, is it feeling different right now? Uh, not really. Um, I, I approach every fight as if I'm fighting for a title. So, and the amount of pressure I put on myself is, is, is going to pale in comparison to, you know, everything else. And, you know, I've done everything physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever you want to say to to be ready for this fight and I'm just here to have fun uh, show what we've been working on the last year and a half and uh, get my hand raised it's been a long time since you've actually competed I wonder I mean have you taken any special steps I mean, we'll hear about cage rush or whatever the case may be I mean do you believe in that have you done anything special to, to, to make sure that your timing the, the feel will all be there um I think I personally think cage rush or ring rust what do you want to call it, it's bullshit I think it's a mindset look at Dominic Cruz he took two years off come back and won the belt so clearly that shit don't matter <laughs> But, uh, you know, I fight every day in the gym with, you know, UFC quality fighters. Um, you know, there's nothing that, that I get in the cage that I haven't seen in the training room. So it's nothing that I'm concerned about. Did the time off make you appreciate how much you love the sport? Um, I always knew I loved this sport. It's, you know, taking time off doesn't mean I love it any more or less. It just gave me the opportunity to improve my craft. Holly has been saying that she wants to go back to 135 possibly after this fight. If that's the case, does this fight really make sense as kind of a 145 title fight? You could just be fighting Cyborg in that case. Um, I don't really pay too much attention to, this, to that stuff. All I can control is myself. Uh, all I can focus on is me, my performance in June 9th, and getting my hand raised. Is the Cyborg the fight the one that you wanted up coming back? Or were you really uh, we don't really care. We were at a point that I was just like, look, we want to fight. Um, whoever it is, we don't, we'd be ready. For Chris, Holly, whoever whoever it was, we would have been ready anyway. What do you see in her game? I mean, she's, she's had mixed results, I mean, but obviously she's accomplished some great things. But Holly? What do, yeah, what do you see when you break Holly down? Um, she's a very great athlete. She's got a lot of movement. Um, she she does counter-strike a little bit. Um, uh, she's strong in certain aspects, but I feel like my strengths... Uh, I feel like my strengths are going to really shine through in this fight and, and I think this is a really great opportunity for me to showcase that and uh, you know, get a win. You know, we've been focusing on on this game plan, we've been focusing on Holly and uh, you know, everything what we've been doing on training, like I just, I see that happening in the cage on Saturday and getting my hand raised. Do you think her power translates to, to 145? No. She wasn't knocking anyone out with her hands at 135, so why, why would it translate up? It just doesn't really work that way. Do you think you'll have a big size advantage over her? You're a natural featherweight. She's moving up from Bantam, probably going back to Bantam. That's hard to um, I'm sure. You know, there's not a lot of females who are six foot tall, walk around 175 pounds. So, you know, I'm sure there'll be a size advantage. Six foot, 72 inch reach. That's that's big. The ultimate fighter of the next season is going to be um, the women's featherweight division. Would you like to coach against Cyborg if you get a win here? Oh yeah, definitely. I'd definitely love to uh, be an integral part of growing the division. Um, but, you know, in itself, like, I don't, if that opportunity wasn't presented to me, I wouldn't mind either. I'm just glad that they're finally bringing in the featherweights. You know, that's something that we've been wanting for a really long fucking time. And finally it's happening, and I'm just glad to be a part of it in some way, shape, or form. You know most of them. You've fought against a lot of them. Who should we look out for on the show, given who's tried out? Do you know who tried out or um, uh, who people should keep their eye on from outside the organization? Um... I didn't really see who tried out. Um, I know Cindy Dandor uh, tried out. She's a she's a phenomenal athlete. She's a good grappler, and uh, I definitely see her if she makes it to the house, uh, giving a lot of those girls some problems. Um, you know, there's you know Pam Sorensen. She's she's a great fighter. Um, other you know this this Eddie Ana Gomez. Uh, she's she's another one to look out for. So I feel like if those uh, if those girls make it. I, I'm, I'm interested to see them fight. And you think the talent is there, that there's a deep enough pool of 145ers to make up a good, uh, good division? Well, you, you can't start a division with 50 fighters if, you, if you're a female. It just doesn't work like that. Um, in every division, you need the top, the middle, uh, and the bottom. 
That's it's how how you progress up the, up the ranks is is you you start fighting tougher fighters, tougher opponents. So you can't just start off with like 50 top rank fighters because it's going to kind of stalemate at some point. So I think uh, there are girls who are in the flyweight division who are 2-0 and in the UFC and there's girls in the featherweight division who have 10 or over 10 fights that aren't in the UFC and deserve to be there. So I don't really care. I, I don't really pay attention to the there's not enough talent, blah, blah, blah. I think it's all bullshit. Let's just give every female in every weight class a uh, opportunity to showcase their skills at the highest level. Because let's be honest, everyone wants to be in the UFC. So let's, why not, you know, give that opportunity to everyone, not just certain weight classes. A lot's been made on Dana saying he wants to go back to the at 4 p.m. except yeah. in the morning. Would you, do you prefer the morning ones or the afternoon? I prefer the morning ones. I've had, uh, I think, two, two of my fights with Invicta. They've adopted that as well. And uh, I love the morning wanes. So the morning wanes wasn't to help fighters cut weight, like make it easier for them to cut weight. It was to give them more time to rehydrate. Um, and that's awesome. Like, since I've banned IVs, uh, all that kind of stuff, you, if you make the same weigh-ins, you're going to have even more dehydrated fighters. They're still going to cut the same amount of weight. They just have less time to rehydrate. So what, that just doesn't make sense to me. Personally, I think the, uh, the actions of a few people who can't manage their weight and who can't make weight like they're supposed to uh, shouldn't affect the rest of us who do and are professional and do cut weight and make the weight when we're supposed to. How is your weight cut going right now? It's going great. I'm uh, yeah, it's going on point. Uh, uh, usually I come in with a big cut this week. That's fine. Um, I'm used to that. And uh, I'm working with uh, Tyler Minton and Lockhart and Leith team. They, in my opinion, are the best in the business. And I know they're working with a few fighters on this car. They work with a lot on other cards as well. So, you know, if I, if I want to, if I want to cut weight properly, rehydrate properly, uh, rehydrate properly, like I want to work with the best to be able to do that and perform at my 100% capacity on Saturday night.